Hey everybody, back again, another video here. Uh, this is kind of a uh, strange, weird uh, review type deal here. Uh, this is lackluster. This, this one was just put up yesterday. Uh, this guy, this guy says that he just bought this Jeep and that he's just driving home. Uh, this officer did the pullover. The officer here, Mr. Flashlight here, he was, he heard the call and decided, I'm going to go almost a hundred miles an hour. No lights, no sirens, no nothing. Travel a couple miles on the highway, blowing past cars left and right to get here so that I can hold a flashlight on this guy's back. Now, this officer says that he didn't know that this guy had a pistol on him, and this officer here says, oh, I did, I never saw it, but it's it's literally right here under his, his hand. The officer's got his light on it. It's right there. Uh, they argue back and forth. Uh, this gentleman here, he argued, when the, when the officer uh, told him told him give me your driver's license and the guy reaches back and he pushes a rifle out of his way so that he can reach down and grab his backpack that has all of his stuff in it the cop as soon as he pushes the rifle baldy mcbald's in here yells at him and says don't you touch that rifle he's like i have to move the rifle to get my id and he go the officer goes Unlock the door. I will search your bag for your stuff. That's not how it works. Uh, that would fall under uh, a violation of the Fourth Amendment search and seizure because he can see through the windows. There's the officer flashlight was at the passenger side. Flashlight looking through the window, looking in the window, watching his hands. He was at the driver's door looking through the back window keeping an eye on both if you if he can see the rifle and see the the man and the other officers on the other side looking at the exact same time it is covered there is no reason for this retard mouth breather to go unlock your doors i'm going to get your stuff for you that's not how it works that yes the officer can go and say for officer safety i'm gonna uh request that you unlock the doors so i could take this firearm out momentarily so that you can retrieve your bag that's how that goes but instead he says unlock the door so i can search your vehicle for your id that's illegal He's trying to get, oh, yeah, sure, I'll unlock it, you can search. That way he can continue in his search and try to find something. Uh, later on in the video, uh, we've got them arguing back and forth. He He's doing this whole thing. Uh, you can't take, you can't search, you can't do this. And the officer says, I'm not searching, I'm looking for your bag. Looking is searching. Searching is looking. You can't have one without out the other. You can't look for his his ID without searching because un unless unless you're blind until you can see just the the wallet, it's a search. This is this is where this whole thing falls into play here. Uh, again, the right. Oh, where is it? Right when he turns here, lights are on. He, the officer says, I never knew that he had a firearm. Yet, uh, he, keeps, he keeps the flashlight on the guy's lower back pretty much the entire time. Uh, then when he turns... To, to talk with Officer Flashlight, 
you can see, clearly see the firearm behind his arm. So the whole, I didn't know that he had it, is bull. Here's the officer. Here is the officer's body cam footage. He, he looks here. He looks over here. He looks all throughout here. He, he, the guy says it's in a small gray bag. He picks up a large black duffel bag and starts rooting through it. And he goes, oh, it's not in here. And the guy goes, that's not the bag it's, it, I said it was in. So the officer is ignoring things. And he says, well, the officer's, while the officer is uh, searching, I need you to put your hands on the back of the vehicle. And when he's got it on the, got him against the back of the vehicle, his pistol's right there. It's right there. This, uh, this little decal of the Mountain Brook PD, it's, it's right there. Uh, there, there's the handle of the firearm. There it is. It's right there. They're saying, we didn't know that he had it. But this officer says, keep your hands on the car because I don't want you reaching for that firearm on your hip. But when the third officer shows up and takes the firearm from him, you tell the officer, I didn't know he had it. I never saw it. This officer saw it. This officer saw it and actually mentions it. Because it's, it's right there. I mean, you can see it. You can see it. He does the searching. He does. He brings him the wallet and then he continues to search for the paperwork. This officer, this, this moron, uh, yeah, 92, 92. He gives him the backpack after searching it, saying there's absolutely no paperwork in there. The guy reaches in, pulls out paperwork. Hmm, how did you miss that? Well, you weren't looking for it. They talk amongst themselves. He's refusing to talk to the officers. This is the explanation of, you know, how far they traveled and whatnot. Uh, this officer rolls up. He gives a, he gives him, he gives the officer a, a spiel about how uh, the guy is non-compliant. Well, yes, he, he's being a dick about it and he's not quite uh, correct in, in uh, his complaints. Uh, he's talking about Second Amendment and this and that, but it is the Fourth Amendment search and seizures. Uh, he, during a traffic stop, you have to present driver's license, uh, registration, and proof of insurance to an officer. Uh, this, is, this one actually goes a little bit further because the officer issues him a ticket saying that he refused to present proof of insurance. The guy didn't, he did not refuse. He said, it is in my phone. The officer said, where's your phone? He said, it's in uh, the car uh, or it, it's in the front seat or on the whatever. And the officer said, I don't want you getting it. I want to go look for it. The guy said, no. No, that is not him refusing to give insurance or present insurance. That is him refusing to allow an officer to again search his vehicle. The officer already searched the back seat. He wasn't allowed to do that. That is that was that was a crime. Uh, taking the the firearm momentarily, he could have removed the the rifle from the back seat said is this the only weapon that's in the vehicle the guy could have said 
yes, I have one on my hip. Go on from there. Uh, he takes the rifle out. He goes, retrieve your, your wallet and whatever. Guy pulls it out. He's got back up there. There's already two officers. Have one at the ready, have the other watching, flashlight, and at the ready, you know, just in case. These officers are acting as if the Second Amendment and the Fourth Amendment don't exist. Uh, and and that's, that's, a, that's a shitty thing. Uh, then the third officer shows up. He says, well, he's not doing this, he's not doing that. So he walks around the vehicle and he goes, his, his wheels, uh, his tires are bald. You might as well write him a ticket for that too, since he wants to be such a dick. That, that statement, that statement on camera, uh, it's, it's on the dash cam footage from this officer's vehicle. It is on two body cameras. That is what is called retaliatory, uh, uh, there's a, a big spiel, but it, it's, it's a retali retaliation against him for exerting his rights. Retaliation is a, uh, an offense that can either land an officer in suspen uh, on suspension or it can have them uh, decertified. Uh, there was an officer, uh, uh, I want to say um, Yuma, in Yuma, he, he did something similar and he was decertified. He had to uh, wait, I think it was, I think it was a five year, uh, a five year thing before he can go back to poli in the police academy and get recertified because of retaliation. Uh, it falls under the, the, the same thing as a retaliatory stop. You see a uh, guy flips an officer the bird as he's in a parking lot, pulls out, gets on the road, cop pulls him over, and so on. Uh, so it, it's just, it's really bad. He, see, see there's the officer there. He's, he's like, oh, you've got a firearm on your hip. Put your hands on your head. I'm taking this. And then he proceeds to empty the firearm on the ground. And he, he's like, I can't believe you guys didn't see that. And it's like, it, it was right there. You could see it. The guy's sitting there with, like this. You could see it while he was leaned up against the vehicle. You could see it. We go ahead. He... He does the argument of that's a violation of the Second Amendment. Uh, the Supreme Court and all the other courts have already argued that taking it for officer safety and then returning it later on is not a violation. But the argument is uh, search and seizure. They searched the vehicle. They seized his, his property. That's where the argument lies. It's not in a violation of the Second Amendment, it's a violation of the Fourth Amendment. Uh, he argues some more. Uh, Officer Baldy McBaldson, uh, the, the penis in uniform, he writes him a ticket for uh, no uh, fa failure to present insurance uh, and something about uh, the registration deal and he follows through, goes in, files a complaint. The police department investigated the police department and saw that the police department did no wrong and that every one of them is a pure angel. But, but, the prosecutor dropped all charges. The prosecutor said there was no reason to charge him mainly the whole thing was is the vehicle was new he handed him the paperwork he he was willing to comply 
It was the officer telling him, do not comply as I'm telling you to comply, that screwed everything up. He moved something out of the way so that he could get to the bag, and the officer said, don't do that. I will do it for you. Eh, no. No. Uh, they, they go on for quite a bit here, and the... It's the back and forth. Then, after, after the, uh, after he had wrote, wrote the tickets, the officer broke the law and committed a civil rights violation by then running the serial number of the firearm that was not pertain. It had nothing to do with the traffic stop. It had nothing to do with any of it. The tickets were done and therefore the stop was over under constitutional law, under constitutional law. Once the tickets are finished and it is a completed stop, they cannot hold him for any longer. He decided, I'm going to write these tickets, print them up, fill out what I need to fill out, you know, check marks wise and get it all put on the thing. He set that aside, picked up the pistol, ran the serial number, called it in, com completed a search of the database. That is a violation. That is, that is a civil rights violation. He, he broke the law, plain and simple. And it the other officers, he, when he asked for the other officers' names, the officers said, Baldy McBaldus and Baldson said, I was the one that conducted the traffic stop. You don't need their information. Uh, yes, they were part of the traffic stop. They were your backup. Under your department's policy, you are required, not you should, you are required to give your name and badge number or service number, whatever. You are required. It, it, it is a violation of policy to give that information when requested. Uh, they, uh, they return the guy's firearm to him and then tell him, you're not allowed to touch any of it until you are far down the road. Leave, go. You cannot be here, you have to leave. He's not allowed to check to see if they took anything. He's not allowed to check to make sure that, that everything is secure. He's only to, to get in his vehicle and leave. How, how is somebody who is, who's had everything taken away from him and searched supposed to know that the officers didn't take anything? How is he supposed to know? How is he supposed to know that the door's not going to fly open? Oh, the officer just kind of shut it gently. Okay, then he takes a turn, door opens, everything flies out. Now there's a mess on the highway. Uh, he argues back and forth. He goes and checks. He picks up the magazine. The magazine is missing a bullet because it was chambered. And then the officer goes, no, I put, I put the bullet back in the magazine. I, I did. I put it back in the magazine. Well, no. When you when you rack this rack the firearm, you picked up the magazine and the bullet, and then you took the gun, the magazine, and the bullet, and you set it on the dash of the cruiser. So, a round is missing. So technically, that is theft. They stole his property. They seized ammunition from him, which is a violation of the Constitution. Uh, he argues back and forth, and the officers tell him, kick rocks, fuck off, get away from this scene. This, this is now our little meet and greet area. You're not allowed to be here. And they tell him to leave. And right after that, uh, he pulls away, and they begin to sit and have a little powwow meeting about how he was a piece of shit, and how the two officers that started the stop were stupid because this one officer saw the firearm and he goes why didn't you guys see it and the, the officer goes well he had his back to me i didn't see it and it's like but you could see it when he got out of the vehicle you could see it when he turned 
to the side, you could, it was right there on his hip. It's, it's, it's clearly visible. Then the other officer who had your back was behind him with the flashlight on him the entire time, just sitting. He's literally flashlight on it. And he's looking at the officer, looking at the guy, looking at the gun, looking at the officer, looking at the guy, looking at the gun. He's doing this. And then he goes, I didn't see it. I, I, I didn't see it. And then the officer's like, he had his back to me. He got out of the vehicle and he just kind of walked and he kept that, that side of his, his back away from me the entire time. And it's like, no, that's, that's pretty much a lie. Uh, they talk about how the, uh, you know, this is the information from them. Uh, it has been reviewed by the, by people of the thing, uh, it's constitutional, reasonable, and aligned with appropriate procedure and protocol, which is bullshit. Uh, and then the information pops up where uh, all charges had been dismissed. You don't dismiss and drop all charges and all tickets and all citations if you have a leg to stand on. But I'm glad to know that the guy has contacted an attorney, is looking at suing the department for the civil rights violations. Uh, could he have uh, handled it better? Oh yes, definitely, definitely. Uh, he was he was about two steps into being a complete douche nozzle. Uh, but you know, every, everybody's allowed to be a dick bag. Everybody's everybody's allowed to be an asshole. But during a traffic stop, uh, all he had to do is say, "Yeah, uh, my ID's in a backpack on the floor behind my seat. There is a firearm back there. If if you uh, if you want, I'll your officer's there. You're here. I'll just reach slowly and grab the bag and I'll pull it out." And I will open it on my lap in a position where you can see. You 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 gotta you gotta treat them treat them like they're toddlers, because sometimes sometimes officers are fucking children. Sometimes they are. It, it's I mean I know I know plenty of people that that are fucking children. They they just they're just ridiculous. They're stupid. Uh, they they throw a fit, and if they don't get what they want when they want it, it it's oh my god, you're doing this, and it, it, it's bullshit. Uh, the guy could have handled it way better. The three officers really need to go through retraining because, I mean, hell, you've got two officers there, one on each side, looking at this, and they both of them, neither one of them cared that oh well the we we can both see the firearm in the back seat we're watching him if anything happens he's it's gonna he's gotta literally take a rifle bring it all the way up and over a seat chamber rack whatever and then move it and work it out of a window in order to do anything that's not gonna happen he's gonna be dead before he gets it up and over so that's all bullshit. Uh, they could have easily handled it way better. Uh, I mean, the, in the at the end of the thing, uh, sue the department, get the three officers retrained. Don't even go after uh, after any money. I mean, because then you're just petty as shit. Uh, just make it so that officers have to get retrained so they know what they're doing because you you have you have an officer who's on body cam you can see from body cam that there's a, there's a firearm in, on his hip the second officer's behind he's got his flashlight on the firearm and he keeps looking down at it and then you have a third officer show up see it remove it from the guy and then go you two officers didn't see that and then they go well we did he he kept his back to us the entire time or kept it kept his back away from us the entire time it's like no he's between you two 
it's visible. It's on his hip. They go, well, it was covered by a shirt. No, it wasn't. You could see it. The officer, it's, it's, it's literally right there. So it was just a handful of bullshit. And the, the officers themselves just need retraining. Uh, the guy, the guy needs to pull the stick out of his ass because, yeah, traffic stops suck, but if you do it the right way, like, I've, I've been stopped while carrying. Sometimes the officer goes, can I take this for my safety? And I go, no, I'd rather not. And they go, okay, fine. Uh, other times they go, well, I'm going to do it. I'm not going to search you. I just want to take this and put it on my hood and you, it'll be visible at all times. Okay, fine. It's not a, it's not a search. It's not a seizure. Now, if, I, if, if, if it, I'm concealed carrying and, and they lift up my shirt and take it, then without me saying that I have it, then it's technically a search and seizure, which is a violation. His shirt was up and over it. It was visible. So, guy just needs to take a chill pill, you know, pop a Xanax or something. But, uh, was the stop justified? Yes. He didn't have any plates on it, so that's a legal stop. Uh, the ticket for refusing to give uh, uh, the insurance... He didn't refuse. He refused the officer's uh, permission to search his vehicle. He, he didn't say the, he wasn't going give, to give him the insurance. He said he wasn't going to allow the officer to retrieve it. Because that would be another illegal search. So, I mean, it, there's, there's so many angles to this. It, 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 it's a headache. It really is. So, uh, that's it for today. Uh, have fun, relax, and remain calm at traffic stops. Get yourself that attorney shield, because, I mean, I'm... <laughs> attorney shield is super helpful. It really is.